This video is brought to you by Unbox, your go-to platform for everything tech. Join your favorite creators all in one place with the link below. So I was walking by the Gigabyte booth and I saw something extremely interesting and I had to let you guys know about it because this could be the future of PC cooling and I just couldn't help it. I came back so I can actually make a video on this. So check this thing out right here. You're gonna see like how is an entire PC or server in water is kind of interesting, right? So I wanted to come by and to get somebody to actually explain what is happening here. So what is, what is this contraption here and how is this thing underwater? I mean, this is super interesting. So first of all, this is not water. It's a okay. fluorochemical uh, developed by 3M. They named it the Novak. So it's non-electrically conductive, non-corrosive, non-toxic, and environmental friendly. Technically, any electronic device works well in underwater. Uh, under this liquid. Not water. It's contagious. So all we have here is our two-phase liquid immersion cooling. We're keeping the whole system cool by just immersing it into water. This cooling method is four, up to 4,000 times better, more efficient than air cooling itself. Wow, so all that bubbling here that we're seeing now, that's all the heat that's dissipating yes. and keeping us cool. So you said how, this is boiling it looks like? Yes, so right now when the cars are under full load, the processor, the chips get so hot, it's transforming the liquid into a gas state. So when it's transform, the heat is transforming the liquid into a gas state, it's removing the heat from the chip and the gas is collecting up here in this space. Now, once it's collected enough, the, we have a condenser in the back that we're kept keeping cool in the, with the radiator in the back. It condenses the gas back into a liquid form and that's our second phase of cooling. Wow, that's incredible. So this is warmer on the outside, I can touch here, yeah. but all of that is just being kept cool. So what do we have inside of here, actually? So this is our uh, two-use system. We normally have it in a rack mount, but right here we modified it. We took out all the heat sinks, and you can we attach 16 graphic cards in this system. 16 graphics cards. Do you know what type of graphics card? I'm not allowed to say something new, I bet. But yeah, this is super interesting. So this 3M material, yes. so this, I saw a demo earlier where somebody took some, just a, like a dollar bill, took it out, so it just doesn't stick to whatever material right. it's in. Right, so um, it's right over here. This is the same liquid as in the container. Take it out, drip it out a bit, dry it, and you can see it's almost completely what? dry. What, this is crazy, look at that. It's, literally is dry wow that is incredible yeah. so what are the chances that this is actually going to come to anything that's consumer related for gaming for pc as a whole i mean obviously this is built for servers but yeah. do you think that this is going to come to the home possibly it's just not um affordable for consumers because uh, for big data centers they spend especially a lot more on cooling the whole system on the whole platform than compared to the home user where they just need to keep it in their room or keep their room condition air condition this uh, in this method data centers can save up to 90 to 95 percent in electricity costs on just cooling but for home use it's probably not as efficient it right. may be able to overclock it more but you probably need a better design yeah. uh, keep more space for the atmosphere and a better radiator so for now, it's more we're gearing toward a data center. We're hoping for more customers and more companies, even competitors, to pick it up so we can expand and have a more environmental friendly uh, cooling method. Maybe it ex once it expands enough, it will get to consumers in a more viable solution. I want to thank our channel sponsor, Unbox. This is a great platform to see all your favorite tech content creators in one place. You can see what's trending so you don't miss what's hot right now in tech. And you can see highlighted reviews from your top favorite creators. And if you like that product, after watching, you can directly buy from the site, which makes things extremely easy. If you're a creator, you can easily be part of this. Just hit the link in the description, claim your profile, and get a custom landing page that gives you a one-stop hub for your audience to interact with, and that automatically updates with new videos that you release. The best thing is that it's free, so go ahead and give it a try. It's a great way to connect with your audience this year. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for a lot more from CES 2019.